Hello guys and welcome to Blood of Old, The Rise to Greatness. Now this is an indie strategy game, uh, a city builder strategy game. Um, it's an early access, this is Alpha 5. The game was launched on Steam on early access on 20 May 2017. I'm just gonna take a look at it and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Let's go with the tutorial guys. This is the best way to learn about the game, because not even I know everything about games. And with the tutorial, we both, we all, we both get to learn about it and learn good things. I mean, learn the exact things. Hello and welcome to Blood of All. This is the tutorial where you will learn the basics of how to play. If you like to continue, please click continue button below. Okay, to move the camera, please double OK, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Great, let's begin. All your important statistics are displayed on the top on the top on the left hand side of the screen here guys. <coughs> and are labeled accordingly. Your menu buttons are located on the bottom left, okay. Let's start with how to build. Here is your building menu where you can select your building. Okay, just click on the building and build it then. And then it takes resources. Okay. R to rotate the building. Next, ensure your population have sufficient housing and shelter is important. Build one of the three housing types. We can rotate. By pressing R, we can rotate the, the building. Um, <clears throat> Continue. Maintaining your resource income will allow you to build more and expand your lands. Build a lumberjack. Okay. Next, ensuring your population remains happy is important to the growth of your lands. Building structures with a positive outcome such as medicine, entertainment, defense or law will help you overcome negative impacts. In your lands, build an inn which provides entertainment. Okay, everything is positive around here guys. <clears throat> this is an event. Events can have positive outcomes or negative outcomes. Keep an eye on these notifications to ensure you always know what is going on. People have moved from a nearby city to your land. Population has increased by a hundred. Nice. Oh. Let's continue. Next, let's take a look at your estate information screen. Here you can adjust tax rates, adjust ration rates, trade and see the positive and negative outcomes in your land. Lands. Okay. Set your tax rate uh, to 4. This will give you uh, 4 gold every person in your population, but this per every person in your population, but this will have a negative outcome. Your people will hate the tax rate. Set your rations, uh, food rations to 5. This will consume 5 food per every person in your population, but this will have positive outcome and your people will like the rations. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's look at the jobs menu. Here you can hire peasants to carry out jobs that will have positive effects on your land. Just such as gathering food or resources, this will cost wages, uh, will have a negative impact on your gold income. Hire a good gatherer, a food gatherer. Okay, now locate your hero baron standing near the keep. This is my hero. Guys. Uh, select him. Once selected, you can right click and move him. Oh, okay. Move him to the bandit located by the bridge and heavy attack him. Okay, let's zoom in guys, let's get a closer look at this. Oh, how big he is. That's nice. And it even has a shadow there. Whoa. <laughs> here to heal he has been healed right now you have learned the basics of combat and you are ready to play 
Just return to the main menu using the button below and begin your game. <clears throat> okay guys, let's go to the province. Because we played this in the tutorial, let's play the province. You have done your father proud and proven yours to be great and natural leader. Your work on the estate is done. Now you must venture forward to greatness. With the gold you get there from your father's estate to travel forward to the province where you must get the book you found in drawings translated and create a new foothold city here for your future and the objective. Clear the province of bandits, get the book translated, convince Walmus and her city to join your side, reach 5000 population, gather 500 gold. Play the game, guys. Okay. <coughs> the volume won't listen to me. Let's build houses. Not enough materials. This is the lumberjack. Okay. I can build a lumberjack without having anything, any resources. <coughs> it costs gold though. Uh, I could go... Here. Let's purchase food. Doesn't work that way. I have a food gatherer and a lumberjack. No, something is not good here, guys. The game is still in development. Exit to main menu. Let's play the estate. Let's play the game. Okay, jobs menu. Looks good. I'm gonna add a guard, a doctor, an entertainer, and lumberjack and total wages. Okay. The wages are pretty big. Let's build. Let's build a medical camp. <clears throat> and another house. Now at the Joe's menu, let's hire not enough population to hire. So is that I have 155 people or what? Where do I get resources? I don't get anything. The volume is up, always. Okay, they're cutting down trees. So I'm gonna get resources in no time. This is the farm. We have crops and animals. Minus 255. What's that supposed to mean?
crime. What the hell? I need to provide guards. There's no more people to hire though. What's my current tax? One. Why do I feel like I'm not gonna do so well? Okay, let's take the, the king. And let's fight the enemies. <clears throat> What's this? What's going on here? It's a bit above me. Let's get a large house. Heavy attack, guys. I'm gonna spend a lot of gold to heal the king. Okay, we won that battle. But I guess that's it. Jobs, let's hire another guard. Some guards, actually. That's it for now. I gotta ask for more taxes. And also, I have to give more food. Um, let's build an inn. But sadly, we're gonna have to wait a lot to build an inn until we get resources again. Food consumes really fast. Too bad there isn't an indicator of when am I gonna get food, when am I gonna get resources. I wish something would indicate me. Something. Okay, I want to build the inn. Very soon I'm gonna run out of food. The king is almost dying. Okay, I've got the resources for an inn. Crime 50, taxes 20, low food 100, overcrowding 140. So you could use another house. Overcrowding 120. We need food. Yeah. But there is no one to work. Anyway, guys, uh, this was uh, Blood of Old, the rise to, uh, to greatness. I'm going to stop here. Um, the game is still uh, in early access, a work in progress. Thank you for watching. If you want to support the developer, there is a link in the description. Take care of you. Bye-bye.